I am going to do peach chicken with a barbecue sauce. And I'm gonna add um, a few carrots in this. Um, I had some extra produce. So uh, as you can see, I already have my chicken and I've already cleaned it up. And um, so I'm gonna start adding my sauce to it. So I'm gonna start with uh, my barbecue sauce on top of my chicken breast. I just have three here. I'm going to use a little bit of brown sugar. Even though the barbecue, barbecue sauce is sweet, I want just a tad extra on the chicken, and this is going to melt into the barbecue sauce into the chicken. Then I need my peach preserves. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add it again on top of the chicken. And all this is going to blend in together and cook down and make a really nice sauce. And this is about a half a jar. I used probably about a quarter cup of barbecue sauce, a quarter cup of brown sugar. And I'm just using what I have in the fridge. And then you've seen my other videos where I've done the peach chicken. I'm just adding a little bit of a twist. It's not too much out of the normal what I was doing before. Now I am going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil on around the chicken for my carrots. And all I did was is I just I just rough chopped the carrots and cleaned them up, and they were fresh produce. And I had to use them before they went bad, so I thought this would be a good recipe with the sweetness, with the sweetness of the barbecue sauce and the peaches. And I made them chunky so they would cook down with the chicken so they're not too mushy. And it kind of all goes together. All right, and this is gonna cook, excuse me. <clears throat> so it'd be three, 350 or 400, and this is gonna cook for 45 minutes to an hour, uh, depending on, um, if it's a little bit frozen, of course it's gonna cook 45 minutes to an hour. If it's not frozen, your chicken that is, then I would suggest if you're gonna do it 400, about 35 to 40 minutes, but remember to check it with your thermometer. Um, you always want it to reach the correct temperature, and I believe it's 160, you may have to look that up, but. All right, so we're going to get started with that. And then, um, again, I'm going to stick this in the oven. Oh, and I have a few onions that I wanted to kind of put on top of that. Okay, guys. Pretty. All right, I have the pre cut. Nice. If you don't want the onions, you can always take it out. I was thinking it gives it a nice flavor. All right. There's that. And that's going to go in, and I'm going to put that in the oven. How the chicken and everything looks. Lots of, lots of broth and really good flavors. Very good. Roasted carrots all went really well together. Pretty. Then um, after the carrots were done, I made some garlic noodles. And that was, I went ahead and put them in my prep bowls uh, so that we can have them for later too. And I just did a little garlic and noodles and butter on those. And then um, I did the cauliflower. And if you don't want to do the noodles, you could always just do the cauliflower and the chicken together.
Welcome back everyone. Um, today we're going to be doing a baked chicken with barbecue sauce. I did it in the crock pot. So it was just a quick easy go type thing. I really didn't want to cook today. So and then I added some baked potatoes with this. It really turned out nice. I really enjoyed it. Very simple. Just threw barbecue sauce in it. Let the crock pot do its thing. You can see them just washing down the potatoes, but just a quick tip here. Um, if I had my other crock pot available, I probably would have done the potatoes in the crock pot really easy. You just scrub them down real good, and then you just poke holes in them. I like to use crock pot liner. It just seems to make the crock pot last longer, doesn't decolor discolorate the crock pot. But um, anyhow, the um, when you punch the holes in the uh, potatoes, even if you do them in the oven, it just seems to help them cook faster. As you can see, I'm um, prepping my potatoes, and I've got them clean, and um, I left them a little bit wet, which was fine. Using my cast iron, um, I'm just prepping them, getting them ready. I usually throw salt and a little bit of seasoning on them, whatever you want to choose to use. Um, and then what I do is I usually just cover them with a glass lid, but if you don't have a glass lid, foil's fine. You don't have to cover them. I just choose to because the, the um, skins always get really tough anyhow. So I like to have them just a little bit not so crispy. I cook them on about 400, 450, uh, a good hour. Um, you can kind of vary how tender you want your potatoes, um, just choosing on what your preference is. Baked potatoes are done. And what I did was is I stuck the barbecued chicken inside the baked potato, I chopped it up. Add a little bit of extra barbecue sauce in it, do some cheese, sour cream, a little butter. Oh, it was delicious. On my next potato, I just took the filling out of the potato, uh, added the barbecue chicken on top with the sour cream and chives, and it was just as good and just as delicious. 